Saddleback leather, large classic briefcase, and tobacco brown, 39 month update. What are you doing? This is also a follow up video for the Chamberlain's Leather Milk session that I did at three years. So we're actually just over 39 months right now. So this is how it looks after getting the latest conditioning. And you can see it's still getting tons of scratches and the patina is developing. There we go, look at that. I've already talked a lot about this, so this video is mainly just going to let you look at the, the wear and tear and the patina. You move. This isn't a show about you. Okay, so there's the bottom. We looked at the front already. Let's look at the side. So I use the the side pockets usually for the water bottle and then for granola bars. These parts on the straps are super baggy now, right there, so that they slide around. But once you have it on your shoulder, it doesn't matter. It's not, it doesn't move around on your shoulder. So you can see I'm leaving it in this backpack mode just because it is the absolute most comfortable way to carry this bag because it is so heavy. So it keeps the weight closer to your back this way instead of uh, bouncing around and hurting your shoulder. Let's look at that, this part. This part is uniformly shiny because when I send it back to Saddleback Leather because the color was wearing off on my body, they resealed just this portion here. I thought they were going to reseal the whole thing. But yeah, this portion is like glossy ever since they did that. Let's look at this side. Alright, so this is a clean canteen water bottle, um, 27 ounce fits in there perfectly. So I wanted to get the biggest water bottle, highest number of ounces and be able to fit in here. Now this pocket is, here's an update on this. I know a lot of people have been watching this and commenting on this pocket. Um, it's kind of splitting there still. If I can get it to freaking focus. There we go. Um, and I decided I'm just going to use it like it was intended, and then if anything happens, of course, then Saddleback will take care of it. So, I'm not going to be afraid to use it. Otherwise, what would be the point of this bag? Here's another view from the bottom. 39 months, pretty much daily use. Alright, now, as far as standing up goes, it leans forward pretty heavily. So, yeah, let's see if we can get a good shot of it. Yeah, there we go. The 
spot still stands up just fine if if these little guys get underneath when I set it down it leans really forward and won't stand up when I'm when I put it in my car I put it in my back seat and I put this end where your back goes because then it just leans into the seat and it doesn't tip over if I put it this way facing the front of the car the bag tips over when I brake all right I'm gonna show you what I pretty much have it have in it all the time there's the inside of here keep these guys loose instead of tucked under in here because I think it looks better also because then I can do the three step three strap mode a lot quicker if I need to so I have folders papers in the back I don't ever use the secret pouch in the bottom got my mouse headphones pen thumb drive office key what else a lot of scratches in there always have checks don't look at that star trek checks i keep my business card in there there's i have extra pens um i always have excedrin migraine i have my laptop it's a weird little fujitsu that's for work i have my notebook that i always keep in there and then the charger i keep in this weird little alcove under the pockets that's really not good for anything so so i shove the charger in there so I go laptop first, and then notebook, and then charger, because it fits under there. So, you can see there's a lot of scratches inside. Kind of some wrinkles where it's drying out. This thing, when I go to the office, I'll just reach through the side of here without opening this part, and just pull this out, and use that. So here's how that's surviving. Totally just fine. I was a little concerned that this part would like wear out or whatever. Why is that not focusing? There we go. But it's totally fine. Here's how the front looks. After 39 months. Thank you for watching. Please subscribe. I need to get up to a thousand subscribers or I won't be able to do these videos as much because Google's changing their terms of monetization. So please subscribe to this video if you want to see updates because uh, I keep making them as long as people keep watching them. And uh, comment and watch my other stuff. Thank you.